Hello, it's Duncan Bolan, uh, the Purpose Coach at uh, DuncanBolan.com and this is another one of my sort of out loud video things, um, practicing my stream of consciousness um, in terms of helping people prepare themselves um, for the other side of lockdown and when I believe the music stops and um, many of the chairs in the labour market are pulled away. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to make a case for, is that by being more purposeful, you've got a far greater chance of landing work. I don't talk about jobs really these days. I try not to talk too much about career. The most important thing to me is it's about a sense of livelihood and a sense of meaningful work. And how you derive that, you can be a freelancer, you can be full-time permanent employed person, you can be self-employed, sole trader, gig economy worker, whatever you want to call it. We're just talking about work here. So I, in many of my other films, have spoken a lot about um, having a beacon on the horizon. My Arnold Schwarzenegger pose here. A beacon upon the horizon that you aim for every day, gets you out of bed in the morning, propels you through the day and keeps you going and going. And you aspire towards this sense of purpose as if it was your North Star. It's your reason for being. It's your mission. I'm confusing, confusing my words there. Purpose is your guiding star. Mission is how you go about steering towards that on a daily basis. It's what you do. It's your vocation. That's your mission. Now, something I just thought about overnight, as is, as is the case with me, is there's huge responsibility to tuning into your purpose and it can make life quite difficult. Now let me see if I can explain why with a simple diagram that I haven't even rehearsed. Um, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. But what it is, if we likened our purpose to a transmission tower and on the top of that transmission tower we have our sort of the orb of our guiding star this is what we kind of get up at in the morning and we're aiming towards that so that's the kind of the direction of travel when we wake bearing in mind Today, in 2020, this is an old statistic of at least probably 10 years old, but I came across a statistic which I've used regularly in my other films and my writing, that there are 75,000 times more goods and services in existence today than there were in 1975. So if we look at our career options in 1975, there are tens of thousands more options available to us in the labour market today that existed 45 years ago. Now, that's a huge pressure and it's very difficult sometimes for us to translate this to our loved ones, how difficult it is, how taxing it is to make a, an, a decision on our occupation, on our vocation, how we're going to earn our livelihood. We're talking about livelihood. But in terms of the good news, what that gives us is there are literally thousands upon thousands of spheres of livelihood in the universe that exists in the world of work that we can be distracted by. So we can literally, when we wake up in the morning, if we look at the horizon, event horizon of the world of work, we can see an in almost infinitesimally complex array of occupational options open to any person at any given time. So horizon to horizon, there are literally thousands of jobs or ways of earning a wage and a salary and a livelihood available to us. And I could go on, it's expansive. It just goes on and on and on. And People talk about the threat of, or I talk about the threat of artificial intelligence, but there are those people who would, would have us believe that artificial is going to create as many jobs as it takes away. 
fingers crossed. I'm not really a believer in that one. However, trying to stick to the point of purpose. So here we have our purpose. So my purpose in life is to help get as many people tuned into and switched on to their purpose in life. And that is career coaching, purpose coaching, acting as a thinking partner to bounce ideas off to help them work out, decode, and decipher their occupational DNA. What are their career attributes? Where do their skills lie, their behaviours, their learning styles, their work preferences, their success stories, their achievements, their weaknesses, their mistakes, their strengths. All of these things distill down in the crucible of decision making, the cauldron of decision making, into forming their purpose. So with that comes a high degree of focus. We're focusing on that beacon as our guiding star every day. And we go out into the world of work and we step towards that mission every day we go to work. So with it comes huge responsibility because we've forged a decision. We've thrown away, we've discarded all the other options. They're gone now. Just so happens that I had 35 jobs in the first 32 years of my life. And the kind of relief to me when I trained as a did an authentic two-year postgraduate training to become a careers advisor and worked with young people in schools and colleges and became a special needs careers advisor, working with gifted and talented students and students who had emotional behavioural challenges, an array of different complex needs. I formalised my focus and it was a relief at the same time as being a responsibility that we push all of our other options aside and we focus our attentions on investing and marshalling all of our career attributes towards that goal, that objective, that, that mission that we achieve through work towards our purpose, which is act as our guiding star. And that's all I want to say today on purpose and the responsibility of having it.